So while well, NASA and the ES are remained quiet on 3R Atlas, which recently passed Mars, I thought I'd do this special edition, showing you one of the best photographs of this object available to date. This photograph was taken by two South Africans, Michael Yeager and Gerald Riemann. You can find this article on space.com. I'll include the URL to this page in the video description. So yeah, we can see that photograph taken by the two gentlemen, Michael Yeager and Gerald Riemann. On September the 7th, 2025, the skies darkened as Earth's shadow consumed the moon. Sky watchers in many parts of the world saw the moon turn blood red due to total lunar eclipse. To continue quoting from the article, for amateurs, astronomers Michael Yeager and Gerald Riemann in Namibia, the eclipse was not only a sight to behold, but it also gave them an unprecedented opportunity, the chance to capture the interstellar comet through our atlas under some of the darkest skies on Earth. Using the eclipse's natural dimming of the moon, the duo was able to take some deep images of the comet, revealing something surprising. The comet glowed green. So for those of you that don't know, Namibia is located in Sub-Sahara Africa. We have South Africa at the tip and then Namibia over here to the top left. So that's basically a desert region. So here's a typical scene of the Kalahari Desert found in Namibia. And because it's so remote and there aren't big cities and towns around, the sky is very dark at night. So it's the best conditions to take photographs of the stars and the planets. Now we're looking at the original photograph taken by the two astronomers. I'll be showing you a gigapan that I made of this photograph. He has the zoomed out view of that gigapan. And we'll gradually zoom in on 3i Atlas. We'll go through the gigapan in a moment. Check that out, folks. Distinctive green glow to it. Also a bit of blue. Very intriguing. I believe it's nickel that produces that greenish glow. Very interesting. Following are four photographs showing conventional magnification versus gigapixel image upscaling. I used gigapixel to produce the gigapan. So yeah, you can see conventional versus gigapixel and the details size and shape and the surrounding stars correspond gigapixel upscales preserving edges whereas conventional magnification in this case a magnifier added to chrome produces blurry objects then a bit further to the bottom right of the comet, something rather strange shows up. I don't know if this is an artifact caused by the photography method that they used, or if this object was in the sky at the time. Let me check that out, folks. And there's another one to the bottom right of this photograph. Check there. 
If there's any astronomers out there, let me know what causes this. It's very interesting. And then also, there's these lines visible on the original and in the upscale they show very nicely. I'll include the link to this gigapan I made in the video description so you can download this and go through it for yourself. So let's go in closer to 3i Atlas. You can make out the shape and the green glow. Let's have a look at some of the other interesting features in this photograph. I saw a galaxy photographed as well. There it is folks. And then this weird star formation. Very interesting. So there's a lot of detail in this image, folks. I encourage you to download it and go through it for yourselves. I'm just covering the highlights in this video. So there's that strange red, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue object and we see that to the bottom right as well. I wonder if the colors follow the same sequence. Yes, red, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue. So photographers and astronomers out there, let us know what produces these artifacts, please. I look forward to reading those. And then these streaks. And see the red one starts way up here. It goes down. And a lighter one joins it from the left. Another red one parallel to that one, another lighter one parallel to that longer red one. So, what caused that? Fast moving objects that left this in the long exposure photograph. There's another one over here. These lines seem to be converging at a point at the bottom of here somewhere. So in the meantime, we're patiently waiting for NASA and the ESA to publish photographs of 3i Atlas photographed from orbiters around Mars. Hopefully we get better photographs than this one taken by the two South African gentlemen. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this brief special edition and credit goes to Michael Yeager and Gerald Riemann for taking this photograph. Well done guys, much appreciated. I look forward to engaging with you in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.